You do it's handsomely disheveled. It's strategically uh, messed up. <laughs> you put it yeah. in there. It's specific. That's, that's how the hip kids do it. Now, the term junk top computer never caught on. So, Chris Hardwick here is, uh, has something that marketers are calling uh, a laptop computer. Yeah, so laptop is classy. Uh, it's what you do on it that's shameful. Oh. You may not know MSI for their gaming machines, so let us introduce you to the GT725. It's the first ever laptop powered by the ATI HD4850 graphics card, so you know games will look amazing. Plus, with up to 4 gigs of RAM, a Blu-ray drive, and Dolby surround sound, this can handle just about any multimedia you throw at it. Get it all starting at 1450 bucks. All right, now the gaming laptop trend recently has been uh, to make these as light and thin as possible. And MSI has really outdone the competition. Can I show you guys how, how thin this is? Only one inch thin at its thinnest. It weighs about seven pounds, which, believe it or not, is really light for a gaming notebook. But they gave it this uh, right here. Can you see this? It has a weird red paint job on the inside. It's kind of weird. It's like, you know when you um, when you paint your car, like when you can tell somebody spray painted it? Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. That's sort of how that feel? Yeah. It's a little to, me, it, to me, it sort of looks like a, like a bouncer's shirt. You know how they wear yeah, those, those short sleeve button downs bit. with the flames around the <laughs> sleeve? Uh, yeah. It sort of looks like that, but I don't mind. It's kind of like a racing stripe, you know? I mean, it, it's, it, it's not yeah, bad. It's not so bad. Now, the one why, thing... why is everyone so mad at red? Come on, get over it. It's a color. I think it's just me. Oh, I think okay. it's just me, okay. me personally. Okay. Now, the one thing no one seems to get about these laptops is that they need to be comfortable to play on for hours and hours. So, mm -hmm. do you think this one is comfortable enough? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Listen, you don't have to overextend your wrists to reach W, A, S, and D, but your thumb might bump the touchpad a little bit, which can get annoying. Didn't bother me so much because I have tiny hands, but don't make any judgments about the rest my body. Uh, well, what does that mean, if you have tiny hands? That means that the, the rest of the skin is being occupied. <laughs> All right, um, the mouse click buttons are sort of, sort of odd, too, since they're not raised off the chassis, which makes them kind of hard to click. You'll probably be using a dedicated gaming mouse anyway, so that's, that, if you're a hardcore gamer, that's really not going to be a huge issue for right. you. Now, this is the first laptop to have ATI HD 48 video, uh, 4850 video card, mm -hmm. and the higher-end model comes with a quad-core processor. So. The biggest question is, sometimes they put all the stuff in there and it's not as fast as it should be. Is this as fast as all that sounds? It totally is. We ran all the normal 3D Mark Vantage tests and they came out much faster than expected. Our highest score was about 5,300 points, making it the second fastest laptop we've reviewed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What is the first fastest? What is it? What was our first fastest? What was our first fastest? The... It was the, the computer. Got it. I heard it. Did you guys hear that? Yep. So it even was though... Jesus's computer. Was really fast. <laughs> all right. Now even though. Oh, the war machine. It was the war, war machine. machine. Yeah, war machine. Yeah. Thank you for letting us know, and I apologize for asking the question. That's all right. Now even though these start at 1,450 bucks, uh, this one's 1,700, and we actually we wouldn't want it at 1,450. We want it at the. You want to have the want like the more of the more of the the power inside. So is it worth it? It a absolutely. They actually both are. Listen, this is a thousand dollars less than the last gaming laptop we reviewed, which was War Machine. Which is the number one. Fastest really? You learned that from watching Attack of the Show. Uh, they're almost equal in performance, so not, so not a bad deal at all. But one is cheaper, so what one are we is cheaper. It? Yeah, I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five. Four Listen. and a half. Four That's and a half. Awesome. It's inexpensive. It's fast. Those are two things I like. If you don't like the, if you don't mind the red paint job, which you shouldn't, you know, then fine. Uh, the price makes this one of the best gaming laptops we have ever seen. That's so exciting. excellent job from MSI. We weren't expecting it to be so awesome, but it really was. Good Great job, guys. Great job, guys. <laughs> We weren't expecting you to be so awesome, but you. you came well, they're they're usually known for like the wind or like not gaming yes. computers, so they've really this is a really great entry for them Good into job. the gaming market. Good job, guys. I'm smacking my card down. That's intense. That's it for today's gadget prom. But if you have a gadget you would like to see us rate, log on to the all new G4TV.com/slash/review this.